So last time guys, nagturo ako paano mag-setup ng bagong PC. Inuna ko yung Asus motherboard, tapos ASRock. And today's video guys, tuturo ko sa inyo paano mag-download and install ng drivers and update ng BIOS dito sa MSI motherboard. But before ko ituro sa inyo yung demo on how to install drivers and BIOS simplified, so pumunta mo tayo kay VIP SCD key guys. Uh, this website is selling digital license on Windows 10 or 11. Meron silang promo, i-discuss ko po later. Also, they are selling yung Office uh, 2019, 2016 Pro. Pumunta mo tayo sa website ni VIP SCD key.com. Today's video is sponsored by VIPSCDK.com. I'm sure na naghahanap kayo ng murang Windows license. So meron silang ongoing promo with some of their products. Tuturo ko sa inyo paano mag-purchase at the same time, paano ito i-activate. Alright guys, so nandito na sa page ni VIPSCDK. So ito yung website nila. Uh, they're selling po yung mga uh, Windows license. Ayan, uh, Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM. Pwede rin itong gamitin for free upgrade to Windows 11 Pro. So, mas makakamura kayo kesa bumili ng standalone Windows 11 Pro na key. So, ito, pagka in-apply nyo itong extra 20% off, 20% off lang yun guys. So, sa akin, meron akong special code na 25% off, which is yung code na ituturo ko sa inyo mamaya. Paano yun guys? Ang gagawin muna natin is bago kayo magkaroon ng account dito, if you're a first timer here, you need to log in your Facebook and nakalagay na po sa akin. Then, punta lang dito. Sign in. Yan, meron ako account kasi dito. Yan yung lagi kong ginagamit. And there you have it. Nakalagay na po ako. Alright, so yan. Nandito na tayo ulit sa page na to. So, buy now na tayo. So now, andito na tayo sa my order confirmation. And then, yung promotion code natin, which is yung XTNC. So yan, mapapansin nyo yung current price. I click natin yung apply. And ayan, nakita nyo, yung ating 25% discount was applied. Naging $16 na lang siya. So more than $5 din yung nasave natin. Ngayon, and need na rin natin i-type yung email address dito for order delivery. So type nyo lang yung email nyo. And then make sure na naka-apply na yung promotional code bago nyo i-click yung submit order. Paano bumili dito? I'm using... Uh, Paymaya, Gcash, or Paypal. Yung tatlo na lang yun. Okay? So, ito yung pinipili ko. So, nasa sa inyo yan kung anong gagamitin nyo. Uh, you can use your credit card, Paymaya, Visa, or Mastercard, or Gcash. So, mga nagtatanong, Christian, paano bumili ng Paymaya and Gcash? Meron dapat kayong uh, card dito. Yung physical card ng Paymaya or Gcash. Meron kasi yung mga number yon para po silang uh, debit card. Itatype nyo po yun dito. Make sure lang na meron pong funds yun. Type nyo lang yung card number, validity, and yung CVV. So, ganun lang kasimple. Then, continue na lang po. So, Christian, saan ko makukuha if confirmed na yung payment? So, pupunta po kayo dito sa taas or user center once you're logged in. So, makita nyo dito yan sa so, my, my purchase orders. So, yan. Nakita nyo? So, dyan nyo po makikita yung Windows license key na binili natin dito sa VIP SCD key. So, kiklik nyo lang yan, then mag appear na yung key. So, for the activation, go to the search bar on your Windows desktop and type Activation Settings. Once there, click Change Product Key. Paste the Windows key license you copied from your VIP SCD key account. Then, click Next. Here, you can see the Windows Edition and that Windows is now activated with a digital license. If plano nyong mag-upgrade to Windows 11, VIP SCD keys also offers Windows 11 Pro keys for only $31, which is way more affordable than the official license price of $200. As you can see here, our coupon code XTNC is also applicable to get another 25% discount. You'll now have a Windows 11 key license for just $23. You can also purchase Microsoft Office software in the VIP SCD key website or just click the links in our video description. So guys, uh, prepare lang kayo ng USB Wi-Fi and a USB flash drive. Pag wala kayong USB Wi-Fi dongle, pwede kayong gumamit ng RJ45 or yung sa patch cable nyo. So plug nyo lang siya here. Gagana naman yun guys. Then don't forget yung keyboard. Uh, display output. Pag may video card, ikabit nyo po sa may video card. Pag um, may built-in graphics, dito nyo po ikakabit sa may motherboard. And of course, the AC cord. Ito sa baba. Then switch on natin. And power on natin. Nice. 
Alright, so this is a freshly installed Windows 11. Nga pala, si MSI is isa sa pinaka mabilis mag-install ng mga drivers na sa experience ko. Ha. Kasi merong magpa-pop up mamaya dito na yung driver utility software nila. So, hindi mo na kasi kailangan i-download. Well, the problem is kailangan mong hintayin. So, dapat connected ka sa internet. So, while waiting for that, is install muna tayo ng HW info. Pag hindi nag-pop up, guys, pupunta tayo sa website mamaya. Okay, install na din. So from here, you can check yung uh, specification nitong um, binil ko for my client. So, so this is the Ryzen 5 5600. Yung motherboard na, this is a MSI B550 Pro BDH Wi-Fi. So yun po yung model. Kalo lang natin yung model, guys. Paste it here. Google search. Then ito po yung model. Pata po tayo dito sa may website ni MSI. Then, accept lang natin yung terms. Go to the support. Then, drivers. Yes, tama po ito. Punta po tayo sa may BIOS. Kasi mag update tayo ng BIOS later. So, ay Christian, bakit nag-blackout? Uh, don't worry guys. Nag-install nag kasi yan ng driver ng display. Okay, so okay kabahan. So, update natin or download natin yung pinaka-latest. Which is yung sa pinaka-taas. Release date is 24-9. Oh, this is September 5. 2024, download natin yan. Extract po natin. Alright guys, so ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. So this is the M-Site Driver Utility Installer. So ito po yung lumalabas o nagpapop up pag connected ka na sa internet. Okay, mas mabilis kasi ito compared to other brands. Hindi ka na mag install May time na medyo matagal siya lumabas. Siguro mga pinakamatagal sa akin is around mga 6 minutes ganyan. 3 to 6 minutes mga ganyan. Hintayin nyo na lang yan. So, I have read. Then, next lang natin. So, ito po lahat ng available na driver or mga application. Yung iba hindi natin na install Okay, install lang muna natin is yung driver. So, you don't need this. Ito. And ito. So, lahat ng driver... So, this is okay. MSI Center, depende po if meron kayong RGB na build. Install na po ito. So, Dropbox, hindi natin kailangan yan. So, basically, ito lang po yung kailangan nyo. Okay? So, kung wala kayong RGB, you don't need MSI Center. Na optional lang po ito. Pero, install po natin ngayon. So, install natin. Then, makikita nyo dito yung progress. Mabilis siya matapos pag mabilis po yung internet nyo. So, yan. Nakita nyo dito, guys. Ito po yung progress. Ayan. So, Wait yun na lang. So, hindi ko natatapusin to. I'll skip this step. After nito, install na po lahat ng mga nakacheck na box dito or tick box dito. So, while waiting for the download, so, ang gagawin na lang muna natin is extract natin to. Yung dinownload natin na BIOS ha. Okay, ito na yung file. So, kunin natin yung file. Copy-paste natin. Uh, punta po kayo dun sa USB flash drive na pinag nyo kanina. Enter nyo lang yon Then, create lang kayo ng folder. Ayan, may click na ako dito. Then, paste mo yung file. Okay. So, ito yung BIOS file. I-update natin later. Tayo muna natin matapos yung pag-install ng driver. Christian, what if hindi lumabas? Kahit anong gawin ko, hindi siya lumabas. Okay. So, madali lang naman yan, guys. Punta kayo dito sa may website, uh, which is yung pinaka-model yan. Kadi na dibalik download tayo ng driver or BIOS pala. So, pupunta kayo dito sa may menu ng driver. Okay? So, ayan. So, pick nyo lang yung operating system na in-install nyo. Then, Windows 11. Then, ito po yung available lahat. Yeah, which is the chipset, onboard BJ drivers, LAN drivers, audio drivers, and SATA drivers. For LAN drivers, guys, meron tatlo. Uh, which is the Ethernet drivers, Wi-Fi driver, and the Bluetooth driver. So, i-install nyo yan isa-isa. Pero yun nga, Simplified po ito, mas mabadali po kasi ito yung ginagawa or tinuturo ko. Okay? Mas mabilis po ito. Okay, so while waiting again guys, I forgot na yung video card natin. So, check lang natin ulit what is the video card. So, yung video card natin is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 na 12G. Punta po tayo sa website ni NVIDIA. NVIDIA drivers, yan. Official download. GeForce, then click lang na, then 30 series, Windows 11, either, then fine. 
pick the GeForce Game Driver. Yan. So, download lang natin. Yan. Download na lang. Kasi meron akong file dito na nakasave. So, this is the driver version. Yung 565.90. Ito. So, meron na kasi yung dinownload dito, guys. Download nyo lang yan. Uh, dito sa may, ano ko, yan. Ipipaste na lang natin. May nakaredy na ako dito, eh. Yan. Download nyo lang. Kakapi ko lang dito sa computer. Wait muna natin matapos yung uh, download and install. Then, after nyan, mag-install tayo ng display driver. So, yan, guys. Napansin nyo, it's already finished. Download and install lahat ng drivers na pinik natin dun sa box kanina. Click natin finish. Bago natin in-restart, install muna natin tong NVIDIA driver. Which is yung uh, GPU natin is NVIDIA, diba? So, download nyo yung NVIDIA driver. If you're using an AMD drivers, so, search na lang sa Google yung model. Like, for example, RX 7600. Select nyo lang yun. Then, uh, click nyo lang yung pinaka latest na driver dun sa website ni AMD. So, select NVIDIA graphics driver. Do you agree and continue? So, express. Wait nyo lang matapos yung installation. So, during installation, guys, mag-flicker po yung display. Uh, wag po kayong kabahan. Yeah, that's normal. So, tinatapos lang niya yung installation. So, uh, wag nyo lang siya gagalawin. NVIDIA installer has finished. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to restart. So, pag clinic ko na tong restart now, guys, ready to press the delete and F2 dun sa keyboard nyo. Okay? So, kasi pupunta na tayo ng BIOS. So, make sure na nakapi nyo yung file dun sa folder kanina. Yan. Ito po, yung sa BIOS. Make sure na kinapi nyo dun sa USB flash drive. Ha? So, restart lang natin. Close lang natin tong mga window. And then, restart now. Okay guys, nandito na tayo sa BIOS. So bago kayo mag-update ng BIOS guys, make sure na naka-default setting siya. So go to advanced, settings, save and exit, restore defaults, yes. Okay. So balik tayo sa may easy mode. Uh, punta po kayo sa may M-Flash. Ayan, mag-update na po tayo ng BIOS. Yes. Alright, so ito guys. So, nandito na tayo sa may uh, M-Flash or Entering Flash Mode. Napin lang natin yung BIOS folder. Ayan. Yung file or yung folder na create natin kanina, which is a B550 off row, BDH Wi-Fi. Then, click lang natin yung BIOS version. Okay. Kung nakikita nyo sa baba, guys, ito yung current BIOS natin, which is the build date is 03-11-2024. Okay. So, i-update yeah, natin siya. So, itong sa baba, yung naka-highlight, build date niya is 093-2024. So, ito na yun po yung pinaka-latest. So, select lang po natin yan. Yes. Then, hintayin natin matapos. Makita nyo yung progress dito sa may baba. Siguro, it will take mga 5, mga ganyan, mga 5 minutes. So, hintayin lang natin. Yan, yeah, kung napapansin nyo guys, uh, may nakalagay dito, do not shut down or restart system until BIOS update process is completed. So, notice mouse and keyboard would be locked during updating. So, wag nyong na wag nyong kagalawin yung PC. Okay guys, so restart ulit natin. Ibalik nyo ulit sa BIOS. So, check lang natin yung BIOS uh, build version. So, as you can see here guys, BIOS build date. Ito po yung 0903-2024. Ito po yung in-update natin kanina. So, ito yung BIOS version. Ayan. So, napapansin nyo guys, yung BIOS update natin has been successfully installed dito sa PC natin or dun sa motherboard. Now, bago natin pumunta dun sa Windows is enable natin yung AXMP profile. Ito. So, meron dalawang option dito. So, enable na lang natin yung profile 1. Then, advanced mode, settings, advanced, PCIe, subsystem settings. Then, make sure na enable tong resize bar support. After nyan, press nyo lang yung F10, save changes. Yes. Alright, so nandito na tayo. So may tuturo lang po ako. Wait lang. So, oh wait. Uh, nga pala, uh, 
and nag-install kahit kasi kanina ng MSI Center na software, di ba? Uh, para lang to sa mga MSI motherboard na nag-install kayo ng mga RGB lights. Okay. So, basahin nyo lang yan. Then, I have read. Wait lang. Hindi siya ma-activate. Yan. I have read. Then, okay. Yes. So, ito lang yung sa MSI Center. So, while waiting for that guys, para tayo sa may Nanite. Mag-install po tayo ng mga Wait, okay. Chrome, Firefox, VLC. Uh, pwede nyo na ring install dito yung Steam. Ayan. So, mamaya, uh, I'll let my client do that. Ayan. So, mga application kasi dito para, you know, hindi na kayo pumunta pa sa pa-isa-isang website. So, nandito na lahat. Then, you can check the tick box and download the software na kailangan nyo. Okay, download lang. Then, install natin. So, check lang natin yung sa yung progress ng MSI. Yan, wait for MSI Center installing. So, hintayin lang natin yung mga yan. We've successfully installed the drivers and update the BIOS lahat. Kung meron kayo na na-encounter na a problem, you can comment dun sa section or PM me on my uh, Facebook page. So, lahat ng dinownload natin kanina is na-install na po. If you're using the MSI Malboard with RGB setup, so, i-download nyo lang tong Mystic Light. So, install nyo lang, then wait nyo. So, it's ito sa is yung gaming PC ng client ko is meron natang RGB. Turo ko na lang sa inyo kung ano yung software na ginagamit for controlling the RGB lights. So, ito po yung i-download nyo. So, lahat is meron mga uh, installable yung mga application ni MSI dito. Um, you can check na lang if kailangan nyo. Like yan, yung mga yan. Okay, so tapos na. So, open lang natin. So guys, ito na yung application uh, for the RGB. You can control here. Uh, for example, yun, naka-on po siya. Ito lang yung sa RGB control. Uh, you can uh, select here kung ano yung yun. You can create also yung profile. And you can change the modes. Yan, uh, by default, naka-rainbow siya. And you can select na lang kung ano yung mga napupusuan yung uh, modes dito or mga effects dito. Ayan. You can control everything. Light speed, brightness. Ayan. And yun. So then... Pagka gusto nyo na yung uh, mga lights na yun or modes, etc., you can apply it here. Yan, okay? So, that's basically, guys, uh, for the MSI motherboard na tutorial kung paano po natin iset up yung PC or bago yung PC, how to download and install the drivers, and update the BIOS. Pag bumili kayo ng... So, pag bumili nga pala kayo, guys, uh, i-activate natin yung sa activation settings yan. pag bumili kayo dun sa VIP SED key uh, ng key, so change lang yung product key here, then you can paste it then activate, so hintayin nyo lang yung activation activation state is you're now active or activated na siya okay, so yun lang, uh, very easy lang um, mag update or um, mag activate ng license uh, from VIP SDK. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ito po yung tutorial ng uh, para mag-set up ng PC, how to download yung drivers and also update the BIOS. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Upload section. So like the video. Subscribe. I'll see you on my next video.